Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer for the finale of the season, and also regarding Season 7 and when filming is going to start. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, we're going to be going over the article from comicbook.com, and this is regarding when Vancouver is going to be back open and reopen so productions can begin filming. And Vancouver is where the CW DC TV shows are mainly filmed, so this is very, very relevant. So I'm going to be reading through the article and I'll break some of the bits down in regards to our shows, so this is how it goes. British Columbia has announced a plan that could see TV, that could see TV and film production return to the city by the middle of the summer, provided COVID-19 transmission rates remain low. The provincial government today announced plans to gradually return to normal amid the pandemic, beginning with small gatherings, six or fewer being allowed starting this weekend, and parks being opened beginning on May 14th. As they begin the process of gradually reopening, British Columbia, where Vancouver is, still says that there are no clear plans for large crowd gatherings like sporting events and concerts when they may resume. The plan, at least as it stands right now, puts TV and film production on a schedule that could see it return to action right around the time the Greg Rolanti produce Arava shows on the CW usually begin filming their new seasons in July. The Comic Con International in San Diego has been cancelled for 2020. Its mid-July date usually came just a week after or so from the filming of the shows returning, with The Flash and Supergirl allowing the network to show limited sizzle reels and make some announcements during the panels. Last week, a story came out that outlined some of the precautions Bellanti and other producers are planning on taking when filming is allowed to resume, including reworking love scenes, fight scenes, and other sequences that involve close physical contact. While some TV shows might be able to get away with telling their stories while characters wear protective masks and mirroring the real world, the Arrowverse would present a problem there in that the scientific minds on the flash ought to be able to cure a respiratory virus pretty quick and replacing COVID-19 with something else in the script would run the risk of trivializing the pandemic. And just inserting my own thoughts here, I don't think that would be true. I don't think it would have any effect. I don't think they would have to worry about that because I don't think they're going to actually include COVID-19 in the TV shows. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, let's continue with this article. So the season finales for many of the CW shows, including Charmed, and The Flash are coming earlier than expected after production had to be halted in mid-March, weeks or even days away from the end of productions on several series, including Supergirl, Superman and Lois and everything, which would have gone into production in March, but say Superman and Lois, nothing happened really. They shot the pilot, maybe a few episodes, I don't really know, but they never got in front of the cameras when they were supposed to. So anyway, what to take away from this article is that basically in British Columbia, the province where Vancouver is situated, set to start opening stuff coming this week, including small gatherings being allowed, six or fewer, that wasn't allowed you know, for months now, and so they're obviously easing stuff, and parks are going to be open by next week, so therefore, things are moving along in British Columbia, and apparently there are plans to allow filming to return sometime in the midsummer, probably around the time when the shows would normally return, so, you know, season 7 of The Flash seems like it's A-OK, -okay, gonna be alright, and, you know, there will be things in place where, you know, the crew will have to separate out and will have to be careful, but I think those precautions will be taken very seriously and I'm sure they'll figure all of that out, but it seems like Vancouver is hoping to reopen their filming industry, therefore the Arrowverse shows, namely The Flash and probably Batwoman and maybe Legends, Superman and Lois will be able to start, and apart from Supergirl, it seems like it's all going to be all good to open around late June slash, you know, early slash mid-July. So yeah, seems all good and seems like the Arrowverse shows aren't going to have to worry apart from Supergirl like I mentioned and that's only because of Melissa's leave and she potentially won't be able to come back to the show till November so therefore we can sort of suggest and we can come up with the idea and go along with this that Supergirl won't return until, you know, the mid-season, but we talked about this many times, so let's move on to the next part of this video. This is to do with the trailer for the finale of The Flash, and so this is coming this week. The finale is already here, it's absolutely crazy, I don't see 
how this has happened so fast. Obviously, they got cut down by three episodes, so, you know, it's pretty quick to jumping to the finale because it feels like we're, like, halfway through the season or something like that. But anyway, so some stuff is going down in this episode. We have some photos to go over as well. So it seems like shit's going to go down. It's probably not going to feel like a complete finale, but it's going to feel like sort of a finale. It's going to have an end rather than, say, ending on episode 20, which they did film. However, apparently this episode acts as a better finale. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the trailer breakdown, then we'll get to the photos after. The first shot in the trailer is of Barry, and Nash is in the background. Barry's looking very serious. And so I think here he is contemplating what to do to do with the Mirrorverse and how to save Iris. So in the trailer, he says, my wife was abducted, I have to save her. He says this to Nash Wells. I think Nash is trying to knock some sense into him because apparently, according to the synopsis, Barry is willing to do some risky things to get into the Mirrorverse and get Iris out, and I think Nash is probably trying to stop him. But then we move on to the next shot in the trailer. We got Iris as she's freaking out. She's got those headaches again, and Joseph Carver actually talks about this in the trailer, and he says this, that the Mirrorverse warps the mind until a person is no longer recognisable. If Iris is still alive, there's probably nothing left of her to save, and this is what's happened to Eva. So let's move on to the next shot. It seems like this is actually a gunshot. Well, it looks like a bullet hole. And it's through a mirror. It has the black sort of tarry look, similar to Bloodworks Blood when Mirror Iris threw it into the mirror. So I believe this is Eva, probably sending off some sort of warning shot, or she was actually trying to kill Joseph here. But Joseph bends down, he looks at this, and basically, you can tell from this, she's after him, basically. Okay, so then we move on to the next bit. Some sort of energy is detected. I can't really make out exactly what it says, but this is in the mirror world. And you can see the cup. It's got the reverse Star Labs logo on it. So then we move on to the next shot. We've got Barry, and he's meeting up with Joseph Carver. This is when Joseph says the stuff about Iris that I just mentioned. So Barry's very serious. He's listening very intently to what Joseph is saying. Joseph has some sort of knowledge about the Mirrorverse. He's probably been there, or he has had a glimpse, or he knew that his wife was stuck there the whole time, and he just didn't do anything about it, and that's why Eva is so mad and wants to kill him, basically. Okay, so we go back to the Mirrorverse. we got Iris as she is freaking out. You know, we've got the double version of her. We've got Camilla there as well. They're trying to sort something out. And then we have Eva attacking Team Flash, and they are trying to protect Carver. And they've obviously got some sort of deal in this episode, Barry and Carver. But it seems like some sort of attack's happening. I don't know if someone's going to get killed here, but it seems like they are definitely trying to kill Carver. And so... Then we move on, we've got Iris, she's freaking out once again in various shots, and Carver again with Barry. Barry's still looking very intent and very kind of disheartened about what's going on. I don't know if Iris is going to get out this episode, I would presume she's going to get out, but I think the cliffhanger, which we are getting a cliffhanger, Grant has confirmed, could be that Barry might get stuck there, someone might get stuck there, or maybe Iris is still there. I don't know what the actual cliffhanger is going to be, but it's going to be something like that. And so then we go on, we've got this old version of the Flash suit, we're just looking at the costume, I don't know what it is, what the significance is, but Barry is here, he's in his Flash suit, he is in the middle of a fight, properly with Eva, and we've got the final shot of the trailer, which is of Iris in the Mirrorverse as she is freaking out once again. So that's about it for the trailer, let's move on to the photos for the finale. So we are at McCulloch Tech, and... We have this photo of Barry, he is soaked in red, there is some sort of red lighting, I'm guessing it's some sort of alert going on, so he's covered in that. We move on to the next photo, we've got Captain Singh, I'm presuming this is the mirror version of Singh that is still out there, and he returns, he's in the same room. And we've got Eva, she's got a full new supervillain suit, so with the way things have turned out, she's probably just going to wear this supervillain suit for one episode, and I guess she felt the need to just look villainous when she got out of the Mirrorverse. Then we move on to the next photo, we've got Carver and Barry standing next to each other. I don't know if Carver knows that Barry is the Flash, but Eva does, so I'm guessing he's probably going to get that revealed to him. He's working with Team Flash, Carver knows a bit about Team Flash, I would presume. Then we have some returning villains, I forgot this person's name, but anyway, so presumably she is working for Black Hole still, and presumably not working for Eva, unless Eva has taken over all of these people and made mirror versions of themselves. But we also get the return of Ultraviolet, I'm presuming the same thing about her. 
and so we've got sunshine as well in the background of this next photo at McCulloch Tech and so they've taken down I presume these soldiers I don't really know who they are but it's a bit hard to tell then we move on we got Ralph in the same room so it seems like this is one of the final showdowns and it seems Ultraviolet is actually her normal version of herself and it seems like she's going to be working with Team Flash because Carver is working with Team Flash and she's there with her cousin Allegra so maybe they're going to get reunited anyway so Sue is here as well and she's working with Ralph it seems like this is one whole big team up you've got Sunshine in the background you've got Nash you've got Allegra and it seems like everyone's just working together against Eva they're all in this circle and I think they're just waiting for Eva to pounce. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.